Hey, hello everybody. This is, uh, you're looking at the package tray for the 71 through 73 Mustang all finished. Um, I got a bunch of photos on the blog here uh, talking about the uh, how I did this. Um, you can, if you're not on the blog, you can go to Mach1Restoration.com and check out the photos. But this is the finished product here of the package tray, uh, all fully upholstered with new uh, marine grade black vinyl and the speaker holes cut out that you can kind of see maybe the indentations right there. You can kind of see that they're ready to go here and here uh, for when I get the speakers. So let's flip this thing over and show you how it turned out on the back. Not too bad. There's the two speaker holes that I cut out uh, initially so you didn't have to go digging up the vinyl when you're ready to install speakers. Um, everything came out pretty good. Everything stuck down nicely. Everything's cured overnight. Uh, it looks pretty damn good. Um, this is the REM package tray that you can buy off of CJPonyParts.com. Uh, and I, I'd say it laid down pretty good. And being an amateur uh, restorer, this is really my first um, upholstery job I've done. And I think it came out pretty damn good. So... Uh, if you want to see how I did it, check out the website, um, Mach1Restoration.com, and you can kind of get an idea of, of how I did it and, and what I used. I uh, got all my material from a store called Joanne Fabrics, and this is the marine grade black vinyl that they have. And then I used a headliner uh, material for the foam, so that's kind of to give you the density. That's kind of what you're dealing with right there, about that thick. So yeah, guys. Nice little fun video on how to do this. This should make the uh, appearance of the speakers through the window look a lot more attractive and not be all uh, bugged up with carpet and that can catch smells and all that stuff. So, hey guys, if you got any comments or you got any questions or anything, go ahead and uh, shoot them my way. I appreciate you watching. Thanks.